Hello and welcome to today's video and it is Fabulous Bile as voted for by you. Fabulous Bile, the apothecary of the Empress Children. He's a doctor like an old pain boy, but if I had to choose, I would go to the pain boy. The worst thing that would happen, he would get a mechanical exploding leg. With Bile, you'd be lucky not to have four anuses and be alive. I mean, that would be the luckiest bit, being alive, to have the four anuses. But exploding leg also sounds a lot more fun. Fabius Bile is a name that brings fear and hatred in the galaxy. Usually because when he lands on the planet, his first thought is, these people need more arms. Then proceeds to give the citizens of the planet the, ex the extra appendages. Unless they die. Then they become the spare parts for Bile's bits box. It's like kit bashing humans and sometimes other animals too. He's king of conversions, to be honest with you. Those that do live become more vigorous, some might say unnaturally so. During the Great Crusade, Baal had his Primarchs here, probably to convince him how much more fun the extra asses on the Empress Children Legionnaires would actually be. Because of a deranged apothecary, the Empress Legion, Empress Children Legion, I should say, could reach new sensations of yet unheard of excess. Well, heard heard of in the Astartes, at least. When it came to following Sinesh, like his gene father and his brothers, Baal said, What, do I look crazy? And went his own way. Like the Empress children, Fabius Baal left Terra before Horus died and took his even more super superhumans with him, as well as all the traitor apothecaries. Look, it's the only reasonable explanation to why the traitors don't have any apothecaries. Baal had become detached from his even from his own legion, and starting practicing medicine in his own brand way across the galaxy. Now, like the rest of the third legion, Baal is a perfectionist, and that's why he's still practicing. One day he'll get it right. While being the flying doctor of the Warhammer 40k, Baal found himself in the tail of reality that is the Eye of Terror. Within the warp, the traitor legions were getting on like a house on fire, as in. They were just running around with petrol and matches. So what did Baal do seeing this? He started to auction his skills off to the highest bidder. So while going around the warp like a snake oil salesman, his ship got stuck in the gravity of an Aldari chrome world. After a lot of exterior design, you know, only the basics mind you, such as making the walls bleed, having screaming Aldari stuck in the Rayburn construct, and of course the mad rabbit escaped experiments, Babby's Baal made this planet his home and base of operations. It was very homely. As previously mentioned, many of Baal's experiments die. Just so they some just so disfigured they just wish they did. There were a few. When Lord's Space Means would fight them, they would find that Barbarous Baal can make them better than they were. Better, stronger, faster. Baal is especially proud of these creations, calling them the new humans. Now Barbie's Baal considered that pinnacle of his art, which is odd as he can clone Primarchs, such as Ferris, Manus, Volgum, and even Horus. Now, going off script a little bit in a minute, I always wondered why. Like, Fabius Baal's a mercenary, he's not really on the side of chaos. It's a warps at all to him. It's Never, I can never understand why he didn't go to some of these and go, look, I can make, look, here's Ferris Manus, have Ferris Manus back, there's your Primarch. Yet he remembers everything, he's good as new, off you go. Like, never, I never could understand why the loyalists would take that. Just, just, something, just a bit of board, let's go back to the script. Well, to me, and actually Bio himself, most of the conclusion that the creations are his creations, and the Primarchs are just clones. And things that he, you know, just willing to trade away, and you know, had die in front of him. First Manus died loads of times when he wouldn't concede to Fulgum and go against the Emperor. Yeah, these were clones, and they just continued to be loyal. Now, as of now, there are many of Baal's creations just running around the galaxy causing havoc. Now, these creations aren't just physically superior; they are mentally too, and they have tyrannical aspirations. 
They would probably fit right in with the Imperium, to be honest with you, right at the top there. Now, the worst part of the world, or the best, depends on your perspective, is how important Fabius Bar is to the traitor legions. Look, the Warmasters know this, and, and to much of their chagrin, Bile knows this. Regine Seed being the biggest problem that the traitors have, and only Bile is the closest to solving this. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention, Bile is technically immortal too, so if a Warmaster decides to off him, he has many clones of himself, all ready to have Bile's consciousness to be downloaded from the minute he died. And each clone actually has a very short lifespan. It's quite odd and confusing. Basically, each clone has a very short lifespan. And as soon as it dies, Bile's consciousness goes into the next one. It's like a queue, a conga line of Bile's. So if a Warmaster or a leader, Chaos Lord, decides that he's not going to pay Bile and offs him, Bile will just come back with an army and go, ha ha ha, you're dead. And usually they do die. Now his war gear, he has the rod, rod of torment, the melee of the most discerning apothecaries. It can kill the strongest creatures with ease. A pinprick from Baal's rod can cause unimaginable pain. There's Chirogan, part magic, part science, and it keeps Baal alive by pumping a warp infused ichor into Baal's body by his spine. It also has nice big blades and choppy bits on top too. And the needler. It's a poison dark gun, and that's it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video on Fabulous Bile, or Fabulous Guile, whatever you wish to call him. He's an interesting character. He has a several, he has a series of books out, and they're quite good to read. Omnibus is the best way to do that. It's very cheap. So what do you think of Fabulous Bile? What do you think of the Emperor's Legion? Why do you think there are no apothecaries in the traitors except for Death Guard? Okay, like if you read the books, there are plenty of apothecaries, but they're all on Bile's planet. Yeah, you'd think they'd have more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you did. I enjoyed making this one. Fabius Ball is a fun character. Um, plenty about him in the Horus Heresy, which is worth talking about, but I want to only go over like, the basics and stuff that's going to be easily acquired. And as always, there is the link to Raylan Games down below, and there is the link to Forbidden Planet. Raylan Games, if you want money off your hobby uh, comic for Bring Cat Planet if you like comics of course why did I forget that my comic if you like comics and my merchandise with some silly t-shirts some serious t-shirts and some uh, also stickers magnets mugs everything else as well and uh, Patreon if you want to give me money I like money uh, tomorrow we continue with the blackest night that's getting good Wednesday may be streaming or a never law video, I'm not quite sure yet. And Friday, of course, is the top five. It's continuing from last year week's, which was top five reasons GW hates chaos, to this week, top five reasons GW hates the Imperium. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day, enjoy your hobby, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye!